Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steez. Now today, chums, in No Man's Sky, there has been an update. So if I go to information right here, let's just put me over on the screen like so. You can see there, or sort of anyway, oh, I might just have to take me off the screen totally just for a moment. You can see there that um, I've only just updated this and I updated it uh, today, 11.26. 7th of the 11th, and we're now on version 5.25. Okay, people, well, um, I'm imagining this is for the PlayStation 5 sort of pro uplift of the game. Now, what I would say is I'm on my Halloween planet, and I was hoping that I'd be able to see a base computers for all the different bases here. Pretty much everywhere where there's a comms ball, there is a base. And on PC, I can see them all just fine. On PlayStation 5, I cannot see them at all. I can see one other base, which is John's pirate ship, which is one that I visited last Friday when we run the weekend mission. But no, this update has not fixed the squiffiness on PlayStation 5 base model for base rendering. Now, I don't know what else it's put inside of the actual game. I'm gonna head on up up to the actual uh, spatial anomaly. I'm going to take a quick look to see if there's anything inside of there, any new Quicksilver items to give us an idea of what might be in Reduxes or something. But then I have ran all of the expeditions to date, so I don't think I'm going to be able to discern that, to be honest. I'm wondering whether they might have updated for the Reduxes. We'll check the title screen in a bit to see if it does mention anything about any sort of other community mission. But the actual update was like about three and a half gig. But I'm not seeing anything. There's nothing on the title screen to say that there's been anything different to the cursed. It still says the cursed, which I'll show you in a moment. But I, I figured I'd just run over and see Johnny Five at the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion Store. See if there's anything new when it comes to Quicksilver type items. The bar has reset across the top. We'd also check the featured bases while we're inside of the actual spatial anomaly. See if they've been rolled around. See if anything new's happened there. Let's go and have a quick look, see then. Just the ribbon till fireworks. Okay, fair enough. Now, uh, let's go down to expedition rewards. Oh, they've updated the icon for the vile grub. Well, that's good, because that was showing something completely different before. Well, that's cool. But other than that, nope, not seeing much new coming into here. And I think they've fixed the image for that one as well. That was broken too, wasn't it? But other than that, not seeing anything there. Hokey pokey. Well, let's go and have a look at the featured bases. Let's see if anything's been rotated around there. Then we might just check the vendors at the back to see if there's anything new, like maybe a purple warp drive for ships or something. Let's just hand over. Let's see if they've rolled out the featured bases. It'd be nice to have some different ones to go visit over the Christmas and festive period, wouldn't it? Featured bases, and no, no, they haven't. They haven't put in any new featured bases. All right, well, so far, I'm struggling to find anything that this update has actually put into game. I was wondering whether we might get the ability to use cross save. So I'll go to the title screen in a bit and see if we can do anything there. But let's just check all these vendors just in case I've snuck something in. Any new warp drives? No, just idiom. Now, I was hoping to see purple systems and I was hoping that we could go and fight those sort of like new octopusy type creatures whenever we wanted. If we were to see any new technology, that's where I would expect to see it. Not seeing anything new there. Let's just check the base parts quickly. See if there's anything inside of any of these. I'm just looking to see if there's anything with a cost above it that I haven't actually unlocked or got. You can do this relatively quickly, really. There's nothing that's jumping out at me right now, people. Heck no. And I think I've now done the full sort of circuit, haven't I? No. I'm not seeing anything new there either. We'll check the. We'll, we might as well check them all now. We made a start, mightn't we? Anything new with you? No. Okay. Head on over to this chap. Hello there, Eos. You got anything tantalizingly awesome? Hmm. No. No. I like to check this guy because I'm hoping that one day the incinerator will appear. It's not there. Okay, I, I doubt there's going to be any difference in the blueprint machine, but just in case. If I don't check it, I'll have somebody say, you didn't check the blueprint machine. There you go, it's checked. Right, let's check this guy. 
Sweet. I doubt we're going to see anything new of Exocraft. Nope, nothing new. So there's nothing new in the old spatial anomaly. Right, well, let's go on out to the main screen then, shall we? Options, quit to mode, select. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Now, let's have a look at the patch notes. Patch notes is still the cursed, even though the cursed expedition stops today. The last day you can run it is today. Let's go to play then. Let's hit new game. Uh, you can't run it anymore, so that's not a thing. What about save data? Is there anything we can do on save data? All right, let's just hover over one. Let's uh, try this one here. No, there's nothing really. So, chums, I was pointed over to Reddit where they were talking about this latest update. And apparently, yes, you can connect accounts. This is over on the No Man's Sky sort of website. Hello Games Cloud, cross save beta. So it's in beta. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go and hit that up, which brings us into here. Get started. Here we go, we've got loads here. No Man's Sky Travellers now can continue their journey through the universe on multiple platforms with the introduction of Cross Save. Whether you play on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Switch or Mac, you can even share your progress across multiple devices. Follow the instructions here to enable a Cross Save on your chosen platforms. Then simply launch No Man's Sky on one of your connected platforms. Your most recent save file will be automatically uploaded to the server and made available for download for other connected platforms. You can then elect upload more saves at up to five. Heck yes. Up to five. Okay, and you got a little cloud icon. Okay, well let's let's see if we can get this in. Let's see if we can get this started. Right, so I guess I'm going to have to click on stuff, put in password details, all that sort of shenanigans. This could take me a little while. But I suppose once it's done, it's freaking done. Okay, Charms, that was more simple than what I could ever have dreamed, to be honest. I've now connected my Steam account, and I've also connected my PlayStation account. It was a couple of clicks. It, because a lot of my passwords and things are, are saved, it just sent me a verification email on my on my phone. Boom, I'm in. Two-step authentication. Done, done, and done. So I guess if I jump back into my PlayStation now, maybe I might see something different on the title screen. We will see. Okay, Jums, I'm booting back into No Man's Sky and let's see what we get, shall we? This could be quite interesting. And let's go to play. Now, I have seen people put in comments to say that they're not seeing the cloud icon. And yeah, I can see there I'm not seeing the cloud icon either. Hmm. Okay, what about if I hit new game? I'm not seeing how you import your save over or select the five that you wish to have. It says that it automatically does them. And this is in beta, so maybe it's in the wings, but at least I've registered both of my accounts. Um, you know what, let's just jump over, over onto Steam and let's see if we see anything different over there, shall we? Okay, Jums, well, it looks like the update is there. You can see it's installing right now. It's going quite rapidly. It's only a 1.24 gigabyte update over on Steam. And there we go. And now it's 4 gigabyte and patching up to 4 gigabyte, verifying. And we're nearly in. Let's, uh, let's hit play then. Let's see how we get on on this one then. Yeah, just normal standard, please. Heck yes. Okay, Jums, well, there's my save. I'm not seeing any cloud markers against it. So... That I would imagine that there's got to be some sort of upload method for this and then download method, but I'm not seeing any options on these title screens at all. So I'm a little bit miffed on how we access the options to, to do it. There's nothing here that gives you any sort of indication that cloud save is enabled. It still says the cursed. I would have imagined if cloud save was quite a big feature now, it'd be all over this. So I'm a little bit miffed. I'm a little bit miffed. Now let's go back to the website and let's see if there's something I missed. Okay, jump. So I've registered my two accounts. There we go. I mean, I've got rid of my Xbox now, so no need to do that. And then here we go. Cross save beta. Access save games from across different platforms. More info. Use the toggles below to enable cross save. Ah! 
I've, just, I've just linked it. Why wouldn't I want to have it? Okay. All right. Fine. Okay. Connected accounts. There we go. Yeah. And yeah. All done. Lovely, lovely. More info. Let's click more info there. Okay. Well, I, I've done that. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've connected my accounts on the website, but I still can't access cross save in No Man's Sky. Double check the status of cross save toggles on the account connection page. That's what was missing on mine. Note that feature is currently in beta and has limited number of spaces available. If you see a message in game about beta being full, you need to wait for more spaces to open up. The game will notify you when space has been made available for you. OK, so maybe it's just I've got to be a little bit more patient. But you know what? That's not me. So <laughs> I'm turning back on the PlayStation. I'll see you over there. Well, chums, even though I've enabled the toggle, I'm not seeing that little cloud icon where I would expect it to be. I'm expecting it to be on here. I mean, if I click on it, it's just going to boot the game, isn't it? If I hit new game, it's not like I'm seeing the ability to bring over any of my cloud saves. And I'm not seeing anything else there. I'm not seeing any other button presses or anything like that. So maybe I'm kind of missing something or maybe it's not fully enabled yet in my region. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see people. But there we go. It looks like cloud save is now becoming a thing. People inside the viewer verse. So there we go. There's nothing inside of the game. Running around, taking a look-see to see if I could find anything. I couldn't find anything. The only thing I didn't check that I should have checked was maybe that man spider up by Tephos to see if he's uploaded and given any missions or anything like that. But I doubt it because I think that's future. So Cloth Save is definitely something in the works. Cloth Save is definitely coming. I've linked all my accounts. I've done as much as I can right now. If I work out how to do it, I'd be sure to let you guys know. Hit that notification bell and subscribe and all that sort of shenanigans. And I'll see you for the next episode. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.